G'day, how you going? Welcome to GFYS Gaming Australia. My name is Yossi Rambo. How you all going? This is Train Sim World 2020 PlayStation 4 Edition here on our YouTube channel for some nighttime action here on this Monday, the 20th of April 2020. We are a couple of hours away to the DBBR204 being released here in Australia on the PlayStation 4. And yes, we are one of the first countries and one of the first YouTube channels in the world to bring you the full launch of the brand new DBBR204. I know the Train Simulator website's done a, uh, a live stream on the brand new uh, train line, giving you uh, the ins and outs of the train and also um, showing you uh, a couple uh, what scenarios and, and what uh, timetable modes and journeys are available for it. So don't fear. Here at GFWS Gaming Australia, we're going to be one of the first to bring in the full launch to the public for the brand new train that's coming to the game in a couple of hours time and it will be uh, uh, as we're doing this uploaded video. So um, it's probably way past that now. If you're watching this later on in the, in the year or the month or in the next year after that or so forth or years down the track, who knows. Uh, but thank you uh, for watching anyway. Uh, and if you're new to our channel, as always, welcome aboard. If you're a returning customer, welcome back to the station. Punch your ticket, click that subscribe button, support our non-profit community-based gaming channel. Also, you can follow GF Watts Gaming Australia on Twitter because we let everyone know on Twitter when we are live uh, with our uh, gameplay. And we and we share our links to uh, our YouTube channel from time to time as well with certain games. All right, so let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to uh, check out some gameplay now. Uh, Punch Truck Aram Rad actually, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we, there's been an update for the game uh, for PlayStation owners as well, 1.41 uh, is uh, now available uh, for download, uh, could not be if you're in a different region or country, uh, so just check your um, your train to Zoom world for availability and whatever, if you're on Steam or you're on, P or, or you're on PC you're on Steam. Uh, or your PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Uh, just check for the availability for the update. All right, we're going to get into a timetable. It's night time action, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the uh, BR uh, 45 DB in this particular run. And hopefully they've uh, fixed a few of the problems that I've been uh, talking about with the game uh, over recent uh, weeks. Uh, we're going to take the. Uh, Let's take the 11 p.m. servers, uh, Johnsonberg, the Borkenham, HBF. So yeah, there's been a few issues with the game um, that we've noted. MP15DC, we've got gameplay of that. We we did that live when it first got released to the full version here at GFYS Gaming Australia as well. The replay of that's on our channel, on our dedicated Train Sim World playlist, which is getting close to 250 videos on the channel now. We're just uh, around 240 at the moment. Uh, as the t as we're speaking at this particular time. And there's the baby ball. There was also a launch uh, live stream here to the Moscow stream. All right. Let's get into it. So that's not going to open up just yet because we haven't put the ball in there, huh? Uh, let's turn the cab light off. On. I mean, on that. We don't actually need that on. Hello. Uh, uh, sender. Turn it on. Uh, two speakers. Also, uh, look at the screen. So maybe I was a little bit faster than this. Let's go over here. So yeah, there's been an update with it, and uh, we do believe that uh, 
few things over. We're hoping that a thing fixed for it. I noticed in Train Simulator they have the doors, uh, they have the destination doors work. And they're going on this, uh, this particular game. Well, it does pay all the game, so, you know, they should be, you know, with the better graphics, you know, have that going. I noticed that flashing on that 90 and that is still a issue, so they haven't fixed that. hoping that they fixed a bit of the glitching with the freezing between changing the cameras and that but it did look like that they might not actually uh, it doesn't do it all the time it just we're gonna have a look now and see we've got a, yeah, a bit of stutter in there still it might have been because we were on, on over the lines as we over here there is uh, the lines here we're going to know as well that could actually cause that. Bouncing off the the light, bouncing off the railways there, so I think that might be here. I'm not sure. So if you come across any bugs, uh, folks, as always, the um, Fireflies Gaming Australia encourages you to tell uh, Duckpail on their forum. Uh, about any bugs that you see, just go to the bugs page and let them know what console or, uh, or uh, PC um, Steam uh, that you're on, what uh, what device you're on with the game. Uh, let them know any bugs that you come across because it really does help all us uh, hardcore gamers that play the game. Um, I um, did uh, point out some things uh, with the game from time to time on the forum, uh, not so often as much as I, I should, but um, I don't really like to leave the bitch about it on the phone, to be honest, because it, there is a few bugs on the phone that, you know, like we, you know, think they're king shit, sort of thing, you know, if I put it in those terms. Um, but if you have a bitch about something, you get out of it, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's like, well, you know, they're just people that just don't have a bad thing, so it's not. No pun intended to the viewers out there. It's just how I, you know, I want the game to be smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like I want it to be. I want to have a, a decent enough content uh, for the game. Now, I notice this flashing is not as hard as it was now. It sort of like bounces in and out like slowly now. It's not as like bad as it was, which is good. It's not. Uh, issue really in my opinion is like the reflection that's coming off of the, the lighting which is uh, a little nice touch I managed a lot of motion blur with the um, Train Simulator 2020, and I, I'm trying to find out uh, a way to try to turn off the motion blur completely, like blur between, 
like looking at the window and then I go down here and it's blurred, you know, like it's, um, like this is all blurred out and this is not. So if, I want to know if there is a way you can actually turn it off um, the blur on the train simulator 2020 game. So if anyone can help me with that, I'd be most appreciated as well. to turn it off because it's really a pain in the butt to be honest because I've started playing that game as well and not as hard I, like I haven't been able to um, do any videos on that because at the moment I'm using my PC live stream through um, uh, a certain uh, way at the moment and it's only for certain games so I can only do uh, my Euro simulator, uh, truck simulator and my American truck simulator which I bought earlier today which is uh, so, uh, I, I love both games both games are really, really cool I absolutely adore the truck simulator games um, as well as this game they're my three top games of choice at the moment um, and I absolutely um, like that type of genre of, of game like I've always wanted a game where you can like travel so far and that and that's, that's something I really like and I really like this game as well uh, as, you, as you should be aware uh, you regulars, you know that I do love Train Sim World. Alright, so there we are, first stop here on our run, and uh, we're going to talk to you at the end of it. Uh, my mic will be on, so you might hear me here breathing or something, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be zippy zippy now. So I did notice that they have actually fixed the issue with um, the camera bouncing between um, the front to the um, train. That was freezing up. So that issue has been corrected. For now it has. We do come across it. We will definitely smooth sailing looks like it's been fixed so nice to 
into Essen HBF now I hate to point this out, but seriously, I really hope that we have a, a couple months off getting a DLC for the game and they concentrate on improving what's already in the game. Like, work on the little technical areas. The destination boards on the trains, I want them to be actually legit on all trains for what particular lines on what and also destination boards that are at platforms to work. Also to give the AIs umbrellas when it rains and when they're sitting down on the seats, they're in the rain, they're just sitting there. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Little areas in the game, work on them, fix them, make the game more uh, realistic. Uh, I know it's realistic already, but I just little technical things, little areas they can work on to make the game a bit more lifelike.
one of the issues I don't I have with um, train simulator is they don't have these um, signal things on the ground and the, the same with the the stopping sp uh, spot they don't have those in the, the game which is a bit of a disappointment to be honest uh, in my opinion but this is more hardcore graphic than what that is even with the highest graphics on which I have the highest graphics on and even even then well don't get me wrong it's, it's, it's nice like going to um, south um, southwest uh, trains I think it was um, yesterday I went over a little bridge over the water and it was like on the marina area like the area with all these boats and that look at some beautiful um, and you go over a little tiny bridge over, right over the water like a canal thing it was, it was so cool um, and I thought that would that particular line would be hectic on this game and it is in England too so um, the uh, nice little touch I uh, reckon to this particular game but um, obviously I don't really think Duck and Tail games want to a lot of things into Prop Train Sim uh, later to Train Sim World anyway, but it uh, would be nice to actually see. Uh, I know they have got a, you know, a few DB things and stuff from Train Sim World and Sim Train Sim World. Like DBB R204 is coming over tonight, is actually, I think, I do believe that these are Train Sim World. We are in fast pace mode right here, right now.
Even the sound of birds like that in the night time, it just doesn't sound real correct, don't you think? You know, like, there shouldn't be birds like that sounding like it's in the middle of the daytime. Final stop coming up next. A little bit light. It's all good. Okay, so here we are at the final destination.
And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Done and dusted. Another one down. 11 p.m. service on the timetable mode. All done here at GFY's Gaming Australia. This has been the RE11 Dusenberg uh, Buckingham uh, HBF. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you join us on the DBBR204, it is on Tuesday, the 21st of April 2020, 12.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time Zone in Australia. That is Sydney Time Zone. So go off that on your local time zone, wherever you are around the world. I'm the Aussie Rambo. I've been your train driver. Until next time, it is bye-bye from all of us here at Jeff Weiss Gaming Australia.